Merhaba. Merhaba. Nasılsın? I'm uh, Asha. I'm from Poland. And I'm 23 years old. In a uh, language school, I'm teaching Turkish English language. Uh, and I'm studying here uh, Turkish language and, uh, and literature. And I love Turkish way of drinking tea. Because in Poland it's not so, uh, not so often, not so, uh, just widespread. Uh, the tradition of drinking tea in Poland, it has just like three or two centuries. Uh, and in the beginning uh, we didn't make it well and we still don't make it very good. Because the most, uh, uh, the most common way of uh, making tea in Poland is just the express one with the paper box. But it's not real tea. It's just fake, I think so. Like uh, Nescafe is fake coffee. <laughs> <laughs> We are not really a tea country because uh, the weather in Poland it's not appropriate to plant uh, tea. Uh, so it came through, it came from China through uh, the Russia, uh, and always we had the contacts with uh, Russia, so we just take it from them. But at the beginning it was just uh, green tea, and green tea is has specific flavor and if you can't do it well it won't be tasty so at the beginning tea wasn't so uh, so it wasn't considered as a good drink and actually at the beginning uh, there was uh, uh, people thought so that uh, it can make uh, it can have the bad influence for women that they can make uh, get drunk and high with the tea. But I don't know from, from where it came. Mm, the tradition of making tea parties became. And yeah, it was uh, interesting because uh, they were drinking tea with the sweet cream. Like this cream you can put to ice creams or I don't know, some desserts. Okay, so I, uh, I get this tea at the school canteen, uh, at my faculty. Uh, actually, it's not so good quality because it's just 50 kurush uh, tea. It's like 20 euro cent. So it can't be very good. But it's prepared with the traditional way. Like two or three weeks ago, I had a plan to go to Istanbul and I want to go uh, make it by hitchhike. And I was asking, making a little bit interview uh, among my uh, Turkish friends if it's safe or not. And quite everybody were telling me that, no, don't do it, don't do it, you will come back dead or you won't come at all. And I said, no, it can't be as, uh, as dangerous as you are telling me. And I decided to make my chance. And uh, actually, it was amazing. Really, it was so easy to catch a car. And actually, when you just go into the car, they are treating you like you are their guest. So they are buying you everything. They, they are taking care of you. Uh, they are asking if you, uh, if you need something, just, just tell us. And it's really shocking about Turkish culture. My, uh, one of my Turkish friends just told me that, yeah, it's in our blood. We love to pay, we love to <laughs> spend money. Yeah, and we like to make people uh, happy. And I agree. Uh, Turkish people are really, really open-hearted. I don't know from, is it uh, about the Islam or about just the weather or the heart? I'm not sure, but as far as now, I didn't find anybody, uh, any wrong person in Turkey. I didn't have any bad uh, experience with them, and I like it. <laughs>